Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11 of the Rebuild with Tottenham Hotspur. Today we take on Leicester City at the King Power. Now, Leicester and Tottenham have a very fractured past. We go back to 1999 and Robbie Savage and all that. Obviously them winning the championship and us finishing third in the end. In my opinion, we never got close to winning the title. We didn't bottle it at all. Can we Close the gap to Liverpool at the top. We've got some results to run through and one departure to discuss. Let's start with him. And that is the departure of Sergio Regulon. He has joined Spartak Moscow for £8 million. Couldn't get a work permit for him, or not at least without paying him far over what he was worth wage-wise. So yeah, sadly, we've had to let Sergio go. And we've got some work to do in the final four days of the transfer window to shore up the defence at least. Now on to those results we've had since we've last been together. I've done it this way today to not spoil something. We'll see in a second why that is. As we beat Aston Villa by a goal to nil. Gonzalo Ramos with the goal. Then in the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg, we lost 3-1 to Wolves. We were terrible on the day as Wolves far and away were the better side. Cunha with two goals. Gades with the other one. Hotter with the sneak of a chance. Obviously no away goals in the Carabao Cup these days, so we had some work to do in the second leg. We had a draw with Arsenal in the FA Cup third round, so a replay is due, and we'll see that result in a second as well. Dejan Kulusevski pulling us level after Gabriel Jesus had put Arsenal in front. Then the remarkable turnaround that was the game with Wolverhampton Wanderers. The comeback kings, I'm going to start calling us, because this was absolutely tremendous. We blew them away in the second leg. A goal for Harry Kane, Dewsbury Hall, Hotter, and a Max Kilman own goal send us through to the Carabao Cup final, and we'll see who we're going to play in a minute. We had a regulation win over Nottingham Forest in between that and the FA Cup replay with Arsenal, which we'll see in a second. They did have a sending off inside five minutes, so we probably should have won by more. We did have a goal ruled out through VAR, but it was all done by half-time. Two for Kane, one for Hotter. And then... We completed another comeback, this time in the FA Cup at home to Arsenal. We were 2-0 down going into the final 15 minutes of normal time at least. Bakaya Saka and Gabriel Jesus had put them 2-0 up. But Harry Kane scored twice. We had a goal ruled out through VAR as well before Harry Kane won the game as the game looked like it was going to penalty. So we are through to round four of the FA Cup. But my, what a game that was. So we've got some things to clear up in the cup competitions. The Carabao Cup final will be between us and Liverpool at Wembley. I will put my shirt and tie on for that one at the start of March. We've got an FA Cup tie with Ipswich to talk about as well. Championship Ipswich these days. And in the Premier League, we are four points behind Liverpool, but we do have a game in hand. If we win that game in hand, obviously we will go one point behind them. So we are still very much in touching distance. Manchester City... And Chelsea are on 49, Manchester United on 44, Arsenal on 40, Newcastle on 37. The gap's starting to open up to the sides outside the European places. That includes Leicester City on 28 points, mid-table at this point in the season. Can we go to the King Power and keep our good run going? Let's find out. So here are the two starting lineups for this one as Ward starts in goal for Leicester. Justin Faust. Evans, Cristiano, Samara, Tillemans, Olise, Madison, Kuntarpa with De Thomas leading the line. Jamie Farley is on the bench, as is Harvey Barnes. As we start with Kirak in goal, Poro, Romero, Akanji, Ogdogi, Bentincourt, Reina, Basuma, Horta, Hyunmin Son with Harry Kane leading the line. And the age-old debate continues, doesn't it? Who's had a better career? Harry Kane or Jamie Vardy? Obviously, Jamie Vardy has a Premier League title, but he's now playing in the Championship in real life. So, would you swap that? I don't think you would. Leicester versus Tottenham. Let's see what happens. Come on, boys. All in white. You're the a European thing, playing all in white, but we're doing it in the Premier League. Obviously, Leicester have got blue shorts, so we can't wear blue shorts. I never understand that. I still boo Robbie Savage. Even when I hear him on the radio or the television these days, I don't like Robbie Savage. Never have done. Not after what he did to Justin Edinburgh in that 99 final of the Worthington Cup, as it was back then. Corner coming in, headed over the bar, but we still won the final. 
with 10 men. Alan Nielsen. Lovely goal. Corner. Son is going to take it. Are we going to attack it? You would like to think so. No. Sumara does the job in both boxes. Basuma. Back from the African Cup of Nations. Be back early, which is not a good thing. But it is for us. As Son has the ball on the left. And he finds... Oh, Fass in the middle. Nearly found a teammate. Madison tries to bring it clear. And it's in behind for De Thomas. Or RDT, as he's known. The ball over the bar. Not RVD. Not to be confused. With Rob Van Dam. As Madison has a corner. It's going to come into the box. And it's going to be headed away by Akanji. Are they going to have another corner? They're going to have another go. I would love to see James Madison in the Tottenham shirt. If it hasn't already happened. It might well have happened. Now we've got a new manager. Ball into the area. And headed away. Into Hotter. Poro across into Reyna. He gets the shot away. It's blocked. Ward is going to keep it in, is he? Yes, he is. He was backpedalling, though. He was a little bit worried. Throw him. Ogdogi with it on that left-hand side. Into Reyna. Ogdogi again. Back into Basuma. Tries to come inside. Gets away from the challenge. Plays it into Hyunmin Sun. I think he was offside. They've played the advantage to Leicester. Okay. So it might have been offside. But then they would have pulled it back, surely. Surely. Pedro Porro has got the ball outside the box, though. Plays it in, looking for Harry Kane in the centre. Gets his header on goal. It goes over the bar, though. It's unusual. Throwing down the right. Justin foul throw, surely. Hello. Ball into the box. Headed towards goal. Good save from Huracan. Romero gets it clear, but it hits his own teammate. And we managed to get it clear. Free kick. It's going from end to end at the moment. Pedro Porro with it. Is he going to have a shot? I think he might, you know. He has had a shot. And he's hit the bar. And Fass has got it clear. Not sure if the goalkeeper got his hands on it or not. It's a good save if he did. But it looked like he hit the bar to me. Justin with the throw. That's a proper throw. Although it was on the borderline of being foul. Don't see many of those given. When you do, it is hilarious when they get given. You get taught as a child how to take a throw in. Oh. That was just, that was close. That was very close. So it swung one way, then the other. And then back again. So we close in on half time. Looks like we're going to go in goalless unless we can do something from this. Akanji into Basuma. Looking through to Harry Kane. Round the corner for Sun. Plays it back in towards Reina. We're breaking through the middle. Reina gets the shot away. And that is half time. It goes wide anyway. That sums up the first half though. Lacks quality. I think would be a thing that I would say. We might make a change at half time because Human Sun is not having a very good game. That's 6.4. Not been good enough. Yeah, quite rightly. It hasn't been good enough thus far. So we're going to bring on Dejan Kulisevsky and we're going to swap those two around. That is what we're going to do at the start of the second half. And a bright start to the season has faded somewhat. That's why Hotter has been playing in front of him recently. And he's played a lot of football. This season so far has Dejan Kulisewski. But we do need to sort the situation out at the back. We are very short at the back. One short, I would say. And we'll hopefully sort that out before the deadline closes. Ball out. I'm not sure who that was to. But Hotter will pick that up and take it with good grace. Plays it back in. No, we're just giving the ball back to him. Basuma picks it up, though. Got very scrappy at the start of the second half. Rayner looking for a bit of quality, perhaps. No, he gives it to Elise. A doggy picks it up. Swings it in, looking for Kulisewski. He's got there, and he's put the ball into the back of the net. Dejan Kulisewski has been on the field for a minute and 20 seconds. And he has scored to put us in front just after half time. Calamity from Leicester. Poor defending right across the board. In fact, both teams were just giving it back to one another. Lovely ball from Adogi towards the penalty spot into no man's land. Kulisewski puts it in. And that is what you want when you berate your team at half time to tell them to do better. Harvey Barnes is on the field. We are racing through the second half. 25 minutes to play. Hotter on the left hand side. Swings it low. Keeper's got it. Looks like the defender might sweep it away from in front of him for a second. But he has got it. What's he going to do with it though? Go short? Go long? He's taking his time. He's going long. Sending it long down the field. Looking for De Thomas. Ogdogi heads it forward and Bentecourt will pick that up. Unchallenged. Rainer into Basuma. Through for Horta. He hasn't got it there, though. Ogdogi will pick that up at left back. Plays it on to Horta. 
goes inside to Basuma. Swings it through, looking for Harry Kane. Will he flick it on? No, he'll go for the header. No, Johnny Evans heads it back to his keeper. Not sure what Leicester are going to do in the championship. I think they're going to lose a lot of players, personally. Rayner with a shot! Saved by Ward. He sends it long down the field. Looking for Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes flicks it on to De Thomas. Got to stop the ball in. Romero just takes it in the face. And that is out for a corner to Leicester. We might make another couple of changes in a minute. Try and freshen some legs up on the field. As Madison has the corner. Ball in towards the far post. And it's headed away by Yves Basuma. Let's have a look at a couple of changes. Because yes, Pedro Porro has picked up a knock. That is bad news. When you're running out of defenders, we've lost Emerson Royale recently as well. So Jaffet Tanganga is going to come on at right back. We're going to bring Benson Kur off and bring on Copper Myers. And we're going to take off Rayner as well and bring on DePaul. As Copper Myers plays it into DePaul, he looks for Dejan Kulisevsky. Castagna gets it away. Elise in towards Madison. DePaul coming in hard on him. De Thomas trying to get away. Romero heads it clear. Ogdoki plays it down, but only as far as Elise for Leicester. Comes inside the penalty area. Plays the ball into the centre, and that is 1-1. That is well worked by Leicester City. And it's a bit calamitous from our perspective. We just could not get it away. And Leicester have equalised on 75 minutes. Because they keep the ball alive. That's what they do. Elise plays it across. Should we engage him closer? There's not really anyone there to do it. That's probably part of the problem. We have got time to win this. Basuma goes back into a kanji. Basuma again. Keep the ball moving. Romero. Copper Myers. Goes through looking for Kudusevsky. Heads it down for Harry Kane. Will he get a shot away? He will. And it goes straight to the goalkeeper though. Finds Copper Myers. Don't get caught out there. Madison picks it up. And they try to break forward. De Leicester with Harvey Barnes. Up against Tanganga. Goes to the edge of the box to Castagna. Coming inside the penalty area. Free run. Right. Let's have a look at another change. Harry Kane is on a 6.3. So Gonzalo Ramos is going to come on for him. Got to remain patient. We've got time. Let's just keep knocking it around. No panic here from me. Looking over the top for DePaul. Headed forward. Madison onto Barnes. Castagna. Trying to win the ball back, will we? No. Goes all the way home to Danny Ward. Leicester reset. Evans. Harry Kane is still on the field at this point. Ramos will be coming on. Well, he won't have a lot of time left to do something. Tanganga's got to deal with that and does. Goes back into Urakan. T sends it long down the field. Looking for HK. Will he win a header? No. Castagna wins it in the air. Adogi will pick it up. And that's a free kick to Leicester. Harry Kane is offside. That's his last action. Urakan with the free kick. Goes into Romero. From a starting position. Goes in to Dejan Kulosevsky. Go on, son. Skin him. Tries to play it in early. Doesn't try to run past Castagna. Justin heads it back to his goalkeeper. Leicester look like they're going to see this out. They've done well to get back in the game, to be fair. And I think probably the draw is the right result at this point, at least. Neither side has really done enough to win the game. As Barnes picks it up into Madison. Looks for Elise. Can Leicester snatch a late winner? Justin. Dogie gets it away, but he hits it straight at Horta. He will not thank him for that. Akanji into DePaul. Don't lose it there. Copper Myers goes over the top looking for Kudusevsky and Ramos together. Kudusevsky gets the shot away but the free kick has been given. He was offside. A draw at this time in the season. Probably not enough for us at the moment. We'll maintain the gap to third place but Liverpool look like they're going to get off into the trees as James Madison takes the corner towards the back stick. Urakan comes to claim it and that is full time. Leicester 1, Tottenham 1. As I say, neither side did enough to win the game. Harry Kane had a bit of a stinker, but he wasn't the only one. And Liverpool open a gap up to six points at the top of the Premier League table. Manchester City move four points behind us. We have both played the same amount of games. The only caveat, obviously, is we still have that game in hand over Liverpool. And we are desperately going to need it, I think, at this point. So what we will do, we will take on Everton, which is our game in hand. We'll take on Ipswich in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And we'll take on Wolves as well. We'll wrap up the transfer window and come back for that away game with Manchester City. At the moment, it's a race between us to see who can keep up with Liverpool at the top. And then after that, we will take on the Carabao Cup final. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time.
Goodbye.